Being efficient is one of the most important things when you're revising or working or whatever you're doing in life. Everybody could do better in their exams if they had more time, so you need to make the most of the time that you've got. You might want to make a plan so you know what you're going to get through and you can optimise which order you do things in. You could do a long-term plan, so say if you've got four or five weeks to revise. You can decide at the beginning everything that you're going to do to make sure you're not going to run out of time. Some people find plans like that don't work too well for them. You might want a shorter term one, plan what you're going to do each week, even plan at the beginning of each day what you're going to do that day. Don't waste too much time making the plan though, that's just not being efficient at all if you waste a whole day planning what you're going to do the next day. Spend like five minutes planning what you'll do in a day, spend up to an hour planning what you'll do over a month or two. Another part of being efficient is not getting distracted. Now this is something we all struggle with. If you spend hours on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube and then get annoyed with yourself because you didn't do much work, I do the same thing. It is very difficult not to get distracted by social media. Things I do to try to help are put my phone and my laptop into do not disturb mode and just really try to force myself not to open any apps that would distract me for a while. I mean, you are in control of what you do. You just have to make use of this free will that you have. It sounds stupid to say, but there are no magic tricks involved. There's not much else you can do. It can help if you go and work in a different environment. Sometimes if you move out of your bedroom or out of your house, you can be more productive then. If you go to a library or something where other people are working, maybe you can go to school and revise there. You might be less distracted by social media. You can see other people around you doing work, and if people can see your screen, so you would be judged if you were just on YouTube. So it's Monday morning today, I'm up to 7,600 words of my dissertation, I need to get to 10,000. My supervisor wants a meeting about my dissertation tomorrow, my director of studies wants a final draft sometime in the first half of this week, and we're supposed to have the whole thing finished by Friday. I do find myself getting distracted in here, I have food to snack on, I have a bed to lie down in, so I'm gonna go to the computer lab and work there. Standing on the top of this thing to clean it could be fun. I've just been to a lecture on Bluetooth and now I've come upstairs and I'm gonna get some work done. Well I had a dream I Stood beneath an orange sky Yes, I had a dream I Stood beneath an orange sky With my brother standing Half past three, but the weather is not looking so good. It's still sunny, but there's some black clouds, so I'm gonna get back to college in case it decides to rain. I've just been so lucky with something in my dissertation. In my project, I'm comparing histograms, and in OpenCV, there are four different methods implemented to compare histograms. And when I was writing the code months ago, I just really randomly chose one. There was an example on the OpenCV website in the documentation, gave some results from each method on like one image, and I just chose the one that kind of looked the best to me. So I was writing my dissertation and I just wrote about this one method for comparison and my supervisor was like, well, you need to justify why you've chosen this. So I just wrote some code to test them all and the one that I randomly chose did actually come out the best in my one test that I've done. And I'm hoping that's enough to justify it in my dissertation. I am going to have a ready meal for dinner today. Back to ready meals. I missed the bus route because I wanted to keep working on my project while I was sort of in the mood for it. It's now half past nine. It's quite late. There they are. Do I have spaghetti carbonara or beef lasagna? I think I'll have lasagna. I'm just thinking about the, the end of exams. In five weeks I'll be taking exams, I have three exams in three days and then that's it. And that's pretty scary. 20 years of my life has been education so far and then 
this is the end. Obviously, I'll be really excited to finish. In that last exam, I don't know how I'm going to concentrate knowing that in two hours I'll be finished forever. But at the same time, it's also really scary knowing that I'll be finished because all I've known so far is education. My whole life has just been education. Also, my time at university is going to end, and that's really sad. After exams, I'll, I'll be in clubs celebrating, and I'll have, like, my last time in Cindy's. I'll be in Cindy's knowing I'll never be there again. Before the exams, I'm going to have, like, my last ever supervision. This is, this is what I'm thinking about right now. I should probably get back to my dissertation. Enjoy education while you're in it. Enjoy school. Enjoy GCSEs. Um, and then A-levels in sixth form or college. And then university. Because ev every stage of education, once you leave, you will miss it. It, it happens to us all. Even if you don't realise it at the time, you will miss it when you leave. So do try to enjoy it. I hated primary school when I was in it, but then I really missed it when I left. I hated um, secondary school. Until about year 10 or 11, then I finally was like, yeah, I will miss this when I leave. You just have to accept that you will. However horrible it is at the time, however bad it seems, you will miss it once you've left. So do try to appreciate it. So year 10 and 11, I started to enjoy a bit. Sixth form, I, I started with this mindset and enjoyed it the whole way through. I was like, I know that I look back and this will be a good time of my life. So I'll make it a good time now. It's it's down to you to do that, mostly. And then university, first year was, was very difficult and very stressful and moving away from home and and trying to just adapt to the Cambridge lifestyle was, was really hard. Kind of got used to it in second year and then by third year, this year I've really enjoyed and it's been great. And I know that this is coming to an end very soon, but I'm gonna end with a third if I don't get this dissertation finished.